This is uh, Ron Brown. I'm recording this on Friday, February 19th, 2021, and I'm going to uh, talk about uh, group rotation. Now, uh, I have uh, Thinkorswim software running in the background, so what it's doing, it's updating the uh, security prices every five minutes, and uh, with this uh, information, I can update the groups to show what the current rotation is on an intraday basis. Now I'm going to click over here in the upper left hand corner and I'm going to go into the industries and sectors folder. You can see there are 175 industries and I'm going to use a tool which says rebuild indexes in group. Now what this is doing, it's going in and it's uh, pulling out uh, the information or getting the information from stocks and it's rebuilding uh, these industries. It, uh, it won't take long. I actually uh, could have closed this warehouse view behind me and it would have uh, it would have processed faster but it looks like it's going uh, pretty quickly anyway so I'll just let it run. And remember this is intraday. This is what's happening today. We've had a couple of uh, days in the market which were not uh, good uh, to say the least and um, the market is uh, bouncing back today. Now notice that if you look up here, I'm, I'm not attaching a filter on this right now, but I, I can apply a filter here which is just a base filter, didn't change anything and uh, my combo ranking, and let me bring that up to show you, is the advancing issues divided by the declining issues, one field. So what this gives me is a snapshot of the strength of the market today. So I have auto parts index, I have 37 advancers, one decliner, casino and gaming, 22 to zero, home builders, 22 to one, life insurance, 20 to one, and so on. If I go down to the other end, uh, some of these only have one or two stocks in them, but uh, one of the groups which has uh, 11 securities, large pharma, is two positive and nine negative. So what this is doing is giving me insight into what the market is doing. And then I can go top down from here if I want to, and then I can just uh, drop down uh, to number seven here on my list. And these are my warehouse views, and I can see which of the stocks within the auto parts group are doing the best. I can uh, see the one day change, the range of the uh, stock for the day, and the last divided by the low price and the volume. I'll just bring up Modine Manufacturing. Just happen to have a black chart here as the default chart. I can use that or any other chart. And you can see that this stock is on the move. But let me drop down here to a chart that I use frequently. These are in my context charts. And this tells me that uh, the stock is above the three and the six. Uh, the volume point of control has turned positive today and there is heavy volume or heavy projected volume on this stock. Now there's resistance here and uh, this is a stock I uh, would certainly consider but I uh, would have to look at a weekly chart at the same time, but that's uh, a different subject. So I'm going to go back to the top. I'll go back up here to number three and just once again show you where the strength is. Now I'm going to use a feature called uh, or under tools where I'm going to tile the ranking and the warehouse views. Now this is the ranking module. I'll go up to the top by hitting my home key. And uh, this is on raw relative strength. I'll just switch it to relative strength. And then I'm going to uh, go in here and I'll compare this to the S&P, which is right here, the S&P index. I'll compare it to the S&P for the last two weeks. Now over the past two weeks, it looks like investment management has outperformed uh, the S&P. Now I switched over to relative strength, but if I go back to raw relative strength, 
This gives me a number of 119.36. The S&P is, the base number is 100. So this tells me the investment management index has been outperforming the uh, S&P by 19.36%. Now if I click from here down to here, you can see that this index uh, has 44 up, or the investment management index has 44 up and 13 down, but it's clear down at number 102. If I go up here and change this to my uh, basic scorecard, which sorts on percentage price change one day, and then click back through, you can see that investment management, even though the advancing issues versus the declining issues were not all that overwhelming, all, they were positive. This is number 10 in here because it's up 5.4% today. So it's doing very well. What's up the most? The Renewable Energy Equipment Index. I'm going to change to that industry group. And it looks like, uh, I'll make this full screen. Okay. This is yesterday's data, and you can see this group was, uh, was down quite a bit. So what I have to do is I have to go to an intraday view. I'm going to go back down to number 7, and you can see the dramatic change uh, in this group from uh, yesterday. Fuel cell energy is up 17% today, trading at 94.88% of its range and on heavy volume. So I'll bring this up. And you can see the dramatic change. Big sell-off here. This went from a positive trend to a negative trend. And now buyers are coming in and uh, uh, supporting this. Big change in one day. I'll go back to this. And let me take you back up to that basic view. It's updating, so sorry about that. So I'm back back up to the the uh, industry groups. You can see uh, the value of being able to uh, check out rotation both at the uh, end of day and. Uh, intraday with this program using uh, Thinkorswim or uh, our, our other uh, data provider, uh, financial modeling uh, with intraday quotes. Now this can also be used uh, at the end of the day. Uh, I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to go to Ian Slow. Ian Slow was, Ian was my partner who unfortunately passed away uh, several years ago. And uh, this is based upon uh, the calculations he wanted in the program. If I go back to relative strength, this shows me the the uh, relative strength over a six-month period. Now I'll bring a chart up here. I'm just going to go to a basic chart. What this uh, ranking is based upon is uh, six months with 70% of the ranking on the last three months. So let me, I'm going to zoom out here a little bit more. And uh, see if I can do this for us very quickly. So we're about two thirds of the way through February as I do this. So here's one, two, three months. So 70% of the weighting on the over the long term is based upon this. And then uh, the other 30% would be on the prior three months. So just a, a few ideas on how you can uh, use group rotation, both in the long term and the short term. Notice that renewable energy equipment is number two. It's been a strong long term, sold off. It's coming back today. Let's take a look at the biofuels index. I'll just click through. Uh, you can see that uh, it uh, is up 5.7% today, so both long-term and short-term. If you look over here to the right, uh, you can see that uh, there are seven advancers and no decliners. So uh, lots of op opportunities to find good trades both at the end of day and intraday. Thank you for listening.